Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the products that I recently purchased. And let me show you. I have purchased a lot of things. Like, a lot. Let me. Yeah, like, a lot of things. And it's not done yet. Legit a lot. So this is probably gonna be a long video. Obviously, I have so many things. So you guys, I got a mic. And I'm... I'm excited I'm, and I'm sorry like I, I did not even realize that that would make a lot of sound I think I hope it does not but like me literally dropping the mic like that I think it would make a lot of sound but please pardon me so let me know how the sound quality is now so that will help me a lot so I have repurchased some products and there are some products that are new to me like I have purchased things from Amazon, Nika, Mintra and also Just Herb so without wasting any more time let's get started So let's start with Amazon first. So the first things first from Amazon, I got this brush cleaner. This is the collapsible, what do you call it? Or compact brush cleaner. Like it looks like a little bathtub and it is so cute. So I was looking for something to wash my brushes with. I did not own any tool before that. And I was getting really bored with washing my brushes and I have not washed my brushes in like, I cannot even tell you how many days. Like they are so gross. So I needed some motivation. And also I did not have any tools. So I decided to buy this one. And this is under 300 rupees. So I think it is really cheap i've not used this one yet so i cannot give you my review on it but this looks like a normal tool so i don't know if i like it then maybe i will film a video in future about how i wash my brushes so stay tuned who knows so next up from amazon i got this dabur's castor oil this is their 100 percent natural cold pressed oil so let me quickly open this up and show you what tools you get with this oil so this is what the packaging of castor oil looks like and it comes with a pump so that you just have to press it and you just get the product out which is really convenient and it also comes with a dropper so if you really want to concentrate it in your scalp then you can do it with this one which is amazing and the last thing that you get in this box is a spoolie or mascara wand whatever you want to call it i think it is so thoughtful by dabur that they provide you all these things in one product and let me tell you this is not that expensive like this retails for 299 but i think i got it for 220 and you get about 200 ml of product which is so good so i decided to buy castor oil because i had heard so many benefits of castor oil so i just could not even resist and i have seen a lot of people getting the benefits of castor oil so i was like i have to buy it so there are so many benefits of castor oil like it is good for your lashes it is good for your eyebrows it is good for your hair so i personally got it for these three reasons like i want good lashes good eyebrows good hair so i'm gonna try to use it daily and see the benefits so for hair i use my castor oil with aloe vera i heat up the castor oil and then i add some aloe vera gel to it and i apply it on my hair and trust me this is one of the best hair masks i've ever tried it makes my hair so soft and smooth so i highly recommend you checking it out so that's all i got from amazon now let's move on to my so from Nika, I got this face wash. This is the Aroma Magic's Neem and Tea Tree face wash. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. And this is what the inner packaging looks like. So it is a nice face wash. I don't have a lot of things to say about this. It just works as a normal face wash. And it does not dry out my skin. So I like it. Yeah, that's all I had to say about this face wash. I mean, what else can I say? Like, I like it, but it's not my favorite if you know what I mean. I mean, it is a nice face wash, but I mean, I can do without this. I don't have to have it. Okay, so next up, I bought this Mama Earth's aloe vera gel. I bought this because I was looking for an aloe vera gel which has clean ingredients, but I don't think that it has clean ingredients. But it says that it is fragrance free, so that is a good thing. I mean, I'm not sure I'm gonna have to research the ingredients and then I'm gonna let you guys know. So the main reason why I bought this one is to use it with the castor oil that we talked about earlier. So 
that is the main reason why I got this one. So let me quickly show you what the consistency look like. I hope you can see it. So this is what it looks like. It feels kind of nice. I'm gonna have to use this one more to kind of give you my review on it. So let's see if I like this one. I will talk about it in my future videos and I will do my research about it. I know I should have done my research before I got it but I was in a rush so I did not check it. So next up I bought this primer. This is the Nykaa's Prep Me Up face primer. So this is the silicone based primer. It reminds me a lot of Color Bars Perfect Match Primer. I'm not sure about the name but the Color Bars Primer and also the Maybelline's Baby Skin something primer i'm really bad with remembering names you guys so. so i bought this tiny size because i just wanted to try it and see if i like it and if i like it i will get the full size of this primer but this is like really travel friendly so this is a pore filling primer if i have not mentioned yet so let me quickly show you the consistency of this primer i hope you can see the dot i mean you cannot see it I think you can like it has mattified part of my hand i hope you can see it yeah i mean i can definitely see it in person and it feels so smooth so yeah it is a good primer and i like it so yeah that's all i got from nika now let's move on to mintra okay so the first thing that i got from mintra is this swiss beauties liquid highlighter and this is what the inner packaging looks like so this is basically your illuminator so there are a lot of ways that you can use this one to be honest i have not used any liquid highlighters other than this one and with this one also i'm very new with it so i'm gonna figure out the ways to use this highlighter so i have used this highlighter quite few times if you remember it from my indian guest wedding get ready with me video the link will be on the i button if you want to check it out i have only used this few times but so far i like this one so you can use it on its own but i will not recommend that i think my face was very shiny i think that it is too much if you apply it on its own so i will recommend that you dilute it with something so some people dilute it with foundation but i really like to dilute it with serum so the serum that i used to dilute it with is this one this is the chic nutrix outshine face serum i did not buy this one i got it in pr chic nutrix was kind enough to send me this product so i've been trying this serum these days so that is the reason why i used this one but honestly any serum is fine so i'm gonna continue using this serum for two to three weeks and then i'm gonna make a whole in-depth review on the serum so stay tuned for that and if you want to purchase it i'm gonna leave my discount code on the screen so that you can get an additional 10 percent of discount now coming back to this highlighter overall it is a good highlighter i'm gonna have to use the other highlighters in the market to see if it is actually good or not okay so the next up is a repurchase and i'm sorry i have my sticker on it and i can not get this damn sticker off because of my nails the struggle is real finally i managed to get this much off so we're gonna have to work with that so the reason why i repurchased this one because i was going for a wedding and i wanted something small to carry with me and something that i for sure have used in the past and also something that is water resistant because the wedding was in april and we all know how much hot it gets in april so yeah, that is the reason why i bought this sunscreen okay so next up i bought Bought two concealers so the first one is this one this is the Maybelline's fit me concealer and this is in the shade 25 medium this is actually a repurchase so I'm not gonna use it in this video because I've used this concealer in the past I used to have the shade 10 light but that was very light for me so that is the reason why I decided to go with 25 medium this time so it is a nice concealer and it has medium coverage all right so the next one is Swiss Beauty's concealer first of all look at the presentation like this concealer is cheaper than the Maybelline concealer but this comes in a box which I think is amazing like let me tell you the price of this one this retails for $2.29 and look at it I think it is so amazing so this is what their outer packaging looks like and this is what the actual concealer looks like so I got this concealer in the shade 05 medium so this is a highlighting shade for me it is few tones lighter than my skin tone so this concealer definitely has 
has medium coverage and overall it is a nice concealer it blends easily but i'm gonna have to kind of use it more to give you my thoughts on this one so i'm buying some swiss beauty products because someone commented it in one of my shorts that they want me to try swiss beauty's products so here i am so i'm gonna tell you more about this concealer in my future videos so stay tuned all right next up i got this trio from my glam this has their highlighter blush and bronzer like the outer packaging is kind of crap i don't know i was sad i was kind of sad when i received this one like this was manufactured in april last year which is april 2022 and this is april 23 and look at the condition of this box in just one year and sadly it expires in uh, september 24th i think it is very dull it looks very dull not a huge fan but it does not matter anyways so all right so this is what the actual packaging looks like and this is what you get inside so let me just give you a quick swatch of all these things they feel kind of nice so here is a where should i should i do it here so here is a swatch of the shades so i got this palette because i was looking for something affordable that is when i found this one it is a nice palette and i got a really good deal on this one so that is the reason why i got this one so i've used it for the first time and i think it is a nice palette and then the blush is kind of pigmented the only shade that I did not like was the contour slash bronzer shade that was kind of hard to blend according to me the blush and the highlighter looks pretty good so I think I would say overall it is a really good palette if you want to buy it all right so next up I got this lipstick from Maybelline this is the Maybelline's sensational liquid matte lipstick and this in the shade more than red this is kind of an okay shade like not a lot of people would prefer this shade like this is kind of orangey red so i purchased it because of the name i think that the name is very misleading like the name is more than red so just like tell me what do you expect you expect it to be like more than red like darker than red and uh, what you actually get is lighter than red like it is orange <laughs> I just don't get brands sometimes but yeah I think it is an okay sh shade I don't hate it and I think I will definitely be wearing this in summers a lot unfortunately I don't know what was in my head I decided to do this kind of pinkish nude eyeshadow and this lipstick did not go with it so I decided to change it but yeah it is an okayish color I don't hate it so yeah that's Maybelline's sensational lipstick in the shade more than red remember it is less than red all right so the next one is repurchase this is a nail paint from faces Canada and this is in the shade white o white it is just a basic plain white shade but I really like the nail paints from faces Canada the previous one that I had was completely dried out so that is the reason why I bought this one so I bought this one in their smaller size all right so next Next is another repurchase and this is the Plums Makeup Cleansing Balm. I've talked about it in the haul that I did few years ago. I'm gonna leave the link on the screen. So this is a really nice makeup cleansing balm. A lot of people seem to really like this cleansing balm from my family. So this is what the outer packaging looks like and this is what the inner packaging looks like. Mine is completely sealed. So it is a good cleansing balm. It gets your makeup off nicely and I don't think that there are many affordable cleansing balm available in the Indian market so this one is one of them this is affordable and it gets the job done like I'm the kind of a person who loves putting on makeup and hates to remove it because as soon as I come back home I just want to sleep I just want to lie on bed and I, I just don't want to get up and uh, products like this come really handy sometimes I just feel that I don't have the patience for you know like taking the micellar water and taking a cotton pad or whatever cloth that you have and then you rub it off for like five minutes I just don't have the patience for that so I just take the cleansing balm and then I just rub it all over my face and then I wash it right off and of course it does not remove all your makeup and for sure you have to double cleanse your skin but I think this makes the process much easier for me so yeah if you're looking for a cleansing balm then definitely get this one I love it but this is definitely not my favorite my favorite one is the body shop's chamomile cleansing balm and for god knows what reason the body shop has discontinued that in India but I think that this is a pretty good alternative to that all right so another product 
that I repurchased from the same haul is the Plums Green Tea Night Gel. So I bought this one because I was almost out of the night cream that I was using, which is the Innisfree's Orchid Mask. I've talked about in my last video in which I did my little skincare routine. So yeah, I was almost out of that and that one's a bit heavy. So that one is for like winters and I will 100% repurchase that once we are done with summers but now that we are finally in summers and I knew that this one is suitable for summers so that is the reason why I bought this one because I know that I love this and the texture of this one and the inner sleeve one is almost the same so that is the reason why I got this one and I got this one in a smaller size which I don't think will last me the whole summer I don't mind repurchasing it so yeah, if I run out of this, I will repurchase this. So if you're looking for a good night cream slash night gel, then this one is definitely it. All right, so we are done with Mintra haul. I think Mintra is giving a tough competition to Nykaa and I should not be saying this. So I was gonna buy all these products from Nykaa, but then I checked the prices on Mintra and it was kind of affordable on Mintra. And also you get these products in two to four days. Like how cool is that? And by the way, not sponsored by Mintra or not sponsored by any brand but just saying that do compare the prices as a consumer and now I'm gonna stop blabbering and let's just move forward with the haul all right we are almost done we are almost done and I am so sleepy like it's what time is it it's 3 30. all right from the just herbs i repurchased their amla plus neem shampoo is a really nice uh, shampoo and i'm just trying to switch to clean ingredients so that is the reason why i wanted to try this one and i really like it i did not completely use the first bottle that i purchased my brother took it i was almost halfway with that bottle and my brother wanted to try it so i just gave that to him and i ordered myself a new one so i think that this is an amazing amazing shampoo with clean ingredients so i highly recommend this one all right so next up is the only product that i regret buying from this haul is this just herbs sunscreen gel and not just this haul this is the only product that I regret buying from Just Herbs. I did not like this sunscreen at all. It made my skin look really oily and heavy. So I'm just not gonna recommend this and I don't have many things to say about this one. So let's just move on and I will use it up on my body but I'm never applying this on my face again. All right, so next up I've repurchased Just Herbs Tender Touch Body Oil. This is my favorite body oil that ever exists like this is what the actual packaging looks like so i grabbed my current bottle that i'm using and uh, this is my second bottle actually and i'm almost halfway through and i repurchased my third one this is really nice and hydrating body oil so if you're looking for a good body oil definitely give this one a shot and i forgot to tell you that just hub has a lot of sales going on like buy one get one or you can get two products for 650 or you can get three products products for 950 and you can get four products for 1150 i don't know. but definitely wait for the sale like i got mine on sale like each of these products have costed me around 300 to 350 and which is so affordable and i think you're getting such good quality so definitely wait for the sale like let me tell you the actual price of this one this one retails for 1325 and i got it for 300 or 350 between two so my battery just died on me and i was saying that yeah wait for the sales all right so we have two products left and both of these are a repurchase so the first one is their kumshukadi oil this is a facial oil and i use it daily at night time and i love this one i highly recommend this one if you can only buy one product from just herbs definitely try this one and i follow this up with the plant-based retinol from just herbs this is actually a serum and i really like to apply it on my skin this is also one of my favorite i think these days i'm just obsessed with skincare so if you're also looking for a nighttime serum then definitely give this one a shot so that's it i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel it's totally free and it will mean the world to me and i will see you all in my next video bye